Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah, you see an elderly couple who had, give, had given up on ever having a family. This was a sign of shame in ancient Israel. Undoubtedly, Elizabeth's yearning was to be a mother, to have a child. This surely left an aching in her soul. So Gabriel tells Mary this. Mary, this is the kind of God whom I ask you to serve, one who has compassion on people, one who has visited Elizabeth, and now she's going to have a child. Gabriel's telling Mary that not only is God powerful, when Mary asked, how can this be, saying, I, I, I'm, I'm not married yet. The angel is telling Mary that yes, God's powerful, but also that God is good. Look how God has blessed Elizabeth. Then Mary said, here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Then Mary said, yes, Lord. What's the message for you today? Well, you are favored by God. The Lord is with you. God has amazing things for you to do. This verse, uh, this is from the New, New Living Translation, Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's masterpiece. The Greek word there is poema. We get our word poem from it. Work of art. Me, a work of art? I had trouble buttoning my pants today. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Work of art. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. God is with us. God has chosen us. God will work in us. God has work for us to do. The Lord is with us. We are favored by God. Do not let fear stop you from following God and doing God's work. Fear of failure. Fear of what other people will think. Fear of disappointing your family and friends. Fear of having your routine interrupted. Fear of responsibility. Think about this. What would you attempt for God if you knew you could not fail? What would you attempt for God if you knew you cannot fail? We can believe that we are favored. We can attempt things for God because we operate from the assumption that God is good. Of course we are favored by God because God is good. Even if things don't turn out the way I hope, I will follow God and serve God without, without fear or worry stopping me because God is is good. That is what I see in this story. Mary wondered at this angel's message. Me, I'm favored by God, yes, and you are favored by God. Mary, don't be afraid because God is good. Look how God has blessed Elizabeth. We can serve God and attempt things for God because God is good, because God has favored and blessed us. We're going to sing a song together. Uh, the song I, I picked for, for closing out the message is the song, Thy Word. It's got a phrase that says, when I feel afraid, think I've lost my way. Still you're there right beside me. That reminds me of Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the dark of the valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Let's stand together as we sing. Jesus be 
my God and hold me to your side. I will love you to the end. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's remain standing as we affirm our faith. We believe in a God who knows our fears. We believe in a God who says, Be not afraid. We believe in a God who kicks off God's shoes and waves into the mud of our lives with us. We believe in a God who can the stars in the night sky so that we can find our way home. And, and who sends us friends with open doors, doors so we can so find, find our way to love. We believe in a God who finds us in our fear and, and does not leave us alone. Thanks, Thanks be to God, God for a love like that. that. Amen. Amen. Thanks. You can be seated. Let's take a moment for our prayer time. If you have joys or concerns you'd like to share with the congregation, uh, we'll ask you for those in a moment. I'll mention uh, Alma Moore. A lot of you know Alma. Uh, Alma's in St. Mary's. Uh, Trish, I've talked to Trish a couple of times. Uh, uh, she almost in, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say, serious condition. To, there's a a heart procedure they can do, and uh, and and when I talked to Trish last time, they were still waiting to consult with the court party cardiologist to make a decision on whether or not they were going to do the heart decision. So let's be in prayer for for Alma, uh, and then Trisha Ginter, uh, Trisha and Pete both are, are home with COVID. So let's be in prayer for them, uh, and uh, do we have other joys or concerns that we'd like to remember in prayer this morning? Yes, Judy? I just want to remind you that we have hearts for the Homeless Society, and Alma and Trish both have cards on. Okay. So if you could take them out, it would be okay. nice for them. Right, as I mentioned before, there are cards for our homebound folks if you would like to, you know, get a cup of coffee or a cookie or some hot chocolate or tea or whatever, and Fill out a card. Just sign your name to it. Say Merry Christmas. Thinking of you. And uh, that, that'd be nice. And I think I saw another. Yeah, Anita? Yeah, they're my um, six month old son. Mm, okay, boy, six months. Yeah. Would, now, you said his name was? Nicholas. 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 Yeah, yeah. Tyler? My mom's going down to Houston this week uh, for a surgery. Okay. Take yeah, yeah. So, all right. well, let's pray together. God, we bring these cares and concerns before you. We think of all of God. Give the doctors wisdom and skill. God, may the best treatment be found. We pray you would strengthen all of the body. God, we pray for Lord. God, we, we pray for Trish and Pete that you would strengthen them and get them through this time. Lord, for Tyler's mom, may she have a safe trip and a and, and, and make the surgery, we should come through that safely, and we pray you would strengthen her, Lord, and we pray for Nicholas, Lord, uh, this, 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 this child was suffering so much, God, and I know the, the parents are worried, and, and, and God, we pray that you would surround them with your peace, you'd surround them with your love and care, God, that you would, uh, you would bring strength and healing to this young boy, Lord. God, we pray for those we think about during this holiday season who can't be with family and friends. God, we pray that you would be uh, near to them and they would, and they would be able to sense your presence with them. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. So it's time for Holy Communion. And again, as we uh, traditionally do, when there is yellow text, that's your part. And when there's white text, that's, that's the leader's part. Let's begin. As we ponder all these things in our hearts, we gather at the Lord's table. In coming, we intentionally take our place in the story. We come not on our own or only as this congregation, but we come with the body of Christ throughout the world and the saints in heaven. We bring all the skeletons in the closet and all our deviations from, from what society tells us is normal. We come as real people, loved for all of our real or perceived faults. We come as those who are an essential part of the story because there's room for everyone in this story. God the Creator, in the same way you spoke all there is into existence, you wove a tapestry of redemption plan. We trace the story of our walks with you in the garden to the moment we realized you heard our cries and our oppression, to manna in the wilderness wanderings, and into the gift of a land filled with promise. Present with us in times of both exile and blessing, we trust in your faithful love. Chosen one, you left the glory of heaven to walk in our humanity with us, teaching the truth, welcoming the outcast, eating with sinners, loving all. You made us part of your story. In your grace, you welcomed us as siblings. Bathed in your love, you call us by your name. Spirit of the Creator, you are the bearer of righteousness, peace, and joy within us. When we wander away, you remind us that there is nowhere we can flee from your presence. When we create walls to keep others out, you remind us that there is a place for everyone in God's family tree. With your spirit of wisdom and truth, we are part of God's continuing story of redemption. Holy Spirit, rain down your love and grace upon us as we gather at your table, offering the cup and loaf. Bring us into full communion as the body of Christ. Make us one with our risen Lord as we celebrate this sacrament in his presence. In the way that you are one, creator, chosen one, spirit of the creator, we join our voices together and we sing of our unity and communion in you. But we're going to sing the song, Eat This Bread, and let's sing this together, our communion song. Scripture tells that on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and he blessed it. 
And he broke it and said, this is my body given for you. Eat this and remember me. And it says, after the meal, he took the cup and he blessed it and said, this is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this and remember me. Let's pray together. God, we ask that you pour out your spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. May they be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be your body, serving you without fear, in spite of our fears, serving you in this world. We pray this in your name. Amen. You are loved. You are welcome. Come and eat and drink. There's room for all. If I could have my servers come forward, please. One more. Exactly. And again, as we as we mentioned, if you know coming up is not going to be. That's not going to work for you. There are individual self-serve cups you can pick up in the back. So, you're invited to come to the Lord's table. Let's remember to keep a little distance today.
All right, it's time for our for our offering now. Just a couple of things again. If you want to fill out a connect card, put it in an offering, include your email or your mobile phone number, so we can send you the email news. And if you give online, feel free to take part in worship by putting the give online card in the offering. So if I could have my ushers come on down. Let's have a prayer. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much for how you bless us. Uh, we are favored by you. We have been the recipients of your blessings. So God, as we give back to you today, we pray you would put your blessing on this offering to do your work in this world. We pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you. announcement I'll, I'll let you go we do have in the back on um, the back table in the narthex the, the advent calendar if you want to take one of those home we also have the reverse advent calendar if you want to collect items for our food pantry that's something you can you can do uh, and there is an advent devotional book back there you can pick that up too if you'd like to uh, let's see let's let's go on down to whatever's next I have no idea. It will be a surprise. Holiday toy drive. We do this every year. Uh, it, it, this is pink Sunday. I, I had pink in the shirt. This is as close as I could get. Uh, some of you, yeah, some of you did a, a, a lot better. It's the Sunday we light the, excuse me, the rose colored candle, the Gaudet candles from the Latin word for joy. And uh, we have a gift drive. In the last few years, we've been benefiting Aviva Children's Services, they serve thousands, and I'm sorry to say it's thousands, thousands of foster children in Southern Arizona. Uh, and uh, we've got a lot of gifts here. I've got a lot more in my office. After the service, we're going to need to move these to the office. So if you could please help, that would be awesome. You say, Richard, boy, I just forgot all about it. Well, we're not going to take them down until Tuesday around 11. So between 7 and 11, there'll be somebody here at church. You can ring the doorbell on the office door and drop your gift off if you wanted to if You wanted to do that. If you go to our website and look for that icon, that, that logo there, click on that. There's all the information about lists of things that that are needed and things like that. You can you can find all that there. Uh, this Wednesday is our next uh, Holloway serving. There's a pancake breakfast at 7 a.m. We get there at 6.15, and we serve parents and kids right up here at Holloway School a great pancake breakfast, and it's, and it's, it's, it's a good time for the parents to be able to spend time with their kids. It's a good family thing, and we provide it all. We need volunteers for that. You could help with that. And then at the same time, we do our monthly school market. We have lots of food items that are dropped off, that's dropped off by the community food bank 
we set it up and people can take what they can use there. And so it's a way to really serve our community. And we have some folks who, 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 who aren't associated with the school who will do a drive through and they'll drive through and pick up. We have lots of grocery items, bread, produce, all kinds of things. So, so that is this Wednesday. It's our, it's, we're a week early because of Christmas, right? But if you have any questions, you want to say, boy, I'd like to maybe help I find out more about it. Al, can you raise your hand? Al's kind of uh, heads that up. Yes, sir. We could use help on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Tuesday at 2 o'clock up at Holloway. Okay, that's when they put everything out and get it organized for people to be able to come through and, and get the items from the food bank. So Tuesday, 2 o'clock up at Holloway, you can help there too. Council meets tomorrow, 6 p.m. Uh, it'll be in the Tatum room, but also I will send out tomorrow morning a Zoom link so you can Zoom in if you'd like. So that's tomorrow. Uh, the, remember the Christmas cards for the, for the shut-in folks that are, is in Tatum room. And then, uh, you know, I, I have, I've been holding off kind of announcing Christmas plans basically because I, you know, I'll be honest with you, I haven't had time to uh, think about it a whole lot. Uh, I've got a general plan. I had a general plan for a long time, but as far as put specifics to it, we're going to do this year for Christmas Eve like we did last year. Uh, we're going to do our Christmas Eve service at four. Uh, the reason we do that is twofold. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. If you want to, you can come. Come to the service and then you want to go to grandma's house, you can. Or if you want to get home and, and start trying to dose the kids with NyQuil so they'll get some sleep. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say that. Uh, or if you if you have things you have to assemble still. I remember the first year I gave Tyler his first drum set. Little junior drum set. Oh, that'll be easy. I worked on that thing till 4 a.m. Okay, and I hope he appreciated it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, four o'clock Christmas Eve, we'll we'll have we'll have great music. We'll have we'll still light candles. It, it'll it'll probably be dreary outside. Who knows? Uh, but it it worked last year. And you know, and if you don't like to drive at night, then you're good to go too. See, so we work it out for both ends of the spectrum here. And uh, there will be. After the service, cookies, and hot chocolate, and coffee, stuff like that. So, you know, if you want to bring some homemade cookies, that would be great. I have not yet had a Christmas cookie with with frosting on it, with icing on it this year yet. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm missing that. So, uh, normally we do a Christmas decorating at my house. I don't know if we're going to get to it this year or not, a cookie decorating. Uh, but we'll see. But that's Christmas Eve. Then, of course, you go, well, Richard, are you doing church Christmas Day? Well, it's Sunday, isn't it? Uh, that's the short answer. And the long answer is yes. 10 a.m., normal time as always. Will the service be different? It will be different, okay? Uh, the sermon will finally, for once, be short, right? Uh, very short. A devotional call. Uh, but we'll take, we'll, we'll take the extra time on Christmas morning, and it, 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 it won't be a long service. It won't be as long as this. Uh, but we'll have extra time to sing carols. So maybe you've got a favorite Christmas carol, and doggone it, nobody's sung it all year. And you won't, you, you really would love to sing that Christmas. You miss it. Well, you'll get a chance to say, hey, number 94, you know, or whatever. So you'll, you'll get a chance to have input in the service and help us pick those those songs. So uh, that's Christmas morning, 10 o'clock. We'll, we'll come, we'll celebrate, and we'll go home. And then, last thing I'll say, January 1 is also a Sunday. Uh, we're planning something even more totally different for January 1. We may not even meet in here. I don't know yet. We might meet back in room 6, and we might do a PB and J making for Casa Maria on uh, where they have try to get Mimi to bring her keyboard and sing a couple of songs or Seth will have his guitar and have communion but uh, do something 
completely different. But I'll let you know about that as, as the time gets gets closer. That's one thing we do is we often make a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the soup kitchen and we, we may be doing that. Then January 29, that end of the month, we're planning a combined after our service, but before Familius, our Hispanic, Spanish-speaking congregation, what the kind of pan pancake breakfast we do at Holloway, we'll do one in here. And both congregations will, will, will come together and, and eat together that Sunday. So that's just some things coming up. So uh, uh, get involved and don't let fear keep you from following God. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Help me kick, pick things up and carry things and put things away, please.